Good morning. Good it, morning. <laughs> it is a road tripping day. Road tripping day. Yes, we are getting ready to leave Big Pine Campground in South Dakota. I have so much to say about South Dakota. Boy, did it not disappoint. South Dakota on a whole is an amazing state. We so enjoyed our time here. It is definitely one we will come back to. It was the shortest <laughs> two and a half weeks I think I've ever spent uh, anywhere. Yes, and we could still do more and do things over. Um, mm -hmm. Big Pine was an amazing campground. So this is a hard one to leave because yes. we really enjoyed both the state and the actual campground. The campground is beautiful. It's nestled in the forest. It's quiet. It's quaint. The people are friendly. We are in the Black Hills National Forest. Yeah, it's beautiful. You see the wildlife. So I can't say enough good things about South Dakota. Um, Kevin and I agree thus far it has been our favorite. We will see what other states have to offer. I'm sure, I mean, we loved Utah too. So, but we just really were impressed right. with South Dakota and this campground. So, I mean, we're leaving here and going to Yellowstone National Park. <laughs> yeah. And then from Yellowstone, we're going to Glacier. Yeah. So, so we've got some good ones yes. coming up. <laughs> and we did that on purpose. All right. That's it for now. All right. Talk to you soon. We are coming right up on Montana. There it is. Welcome to Montana. Here we go, babe. Another state. <laughs> we are actually going to be spending the night here in Montana at a Harvest Host. So we're looking forward to that. Checking another state off our list and another sticker for our map. Well, and we are going back to Montana when we do Glacier, obviously. Yes. So, um, which in this trip. So, anyways. Yeah. Montana either way. You bet. We are about four and a half hours in, in right now. And we've got about maybe two more hours. Just because of the roads and driving slow and everything else. we got 97 more miles until we get to the Harvest Host. So we'll see you guys there. Our very first Harvest Host. We're in Billings, Montana at the Yellowstone Cellars and Winery. Um, it's, it's street parking. And we are right here in a parking lot next door. See, we're not alone. There's a bunch of Harvest Hosters here. Uh, real easy to get in, real easy to get out, and very little traffic. So, Hey, we just finished dinner here at Yellowstone Cellars and Winery. Yes. It's not a vineyard because we're actually in the middle of an industrial area. Apparently, the vineyard is somewhere away, and they bring all the grapes, but they do bottle everything, and they do everything here. Mm -hmm. But tonight, we came in, we had dinner. It was pretty good. Yeah. They have uh, charcuterie boards flatbreads and then pizza so and then obviously a bunch of wine Kevin and I yeah. are not wine drinkers so we did not partake in the drink and right. the wine but we each got a flatbread and tasted each other's and they were good they were good so yeah yes so I mean this is a no frills harvest host I mean we're parked out on the street if you're on the drive from South Dakota to the Yellowstone area Billings Montana wine. Yellowstone cellars and winery <laughs> yeah, all right it's good first harvest host down <laughs> well, we uh, got an early start this morning from our Harvest Host, and now we're on our way to Island Park, Idaho, to uh, stay for about a week or so just outside the west entrance of Yellowstone. Going on 51 miles today. That's a good one. Right here, September 9th. And what is today? Today is Kevin's birthday, so we are going to Yellowstone, the west side. It's kind of cool we get a stamp on your birthday. <laughs> 
It's been a lifesaver already. America the Beautiful Annual Pass. Hello. Hello. And do you need a member guide today? Yes, please. Okay. All right, thanks. Fountain paint pots. Walking on a little boardwalk. Feel like about a half a mile little loop. Check out the paint pots and the mud. And then at the other end, when we get to the yeah, there's supposed to be what five or six small geysers over there. Yeah, I don't know how many. We'll see. Yeah. So far, Yellowstone is absolutely incredible. It's pretty cool. We are <laughs> loving every minute of it. It's what day one. It's day one in Yellowstone. We're only been in here a couple hours. We've probably only driven about 10, 15 miles at the most. Um, it's a Saturday, Saturday, September 9th. So it's a little busy. It's, well, it's a lot busy, yeah. I think, yeah. But I'm thinking in the summer it's even busier. Oh, gosh, yeah. I feel like you wouldn't be able to walk on this very well. So Right. No, so we're, we're definitely enjoying ourselves. All right, we'll show you around. Ice cream. <laughs> you gotta gotta yep. enjoy it. Yep, we're waiting for old people hanging yep. out here. And we got some ice cream to sit and it's a beautiful day. So we're just sitting outside having some ice cream. Just finished watching Old Faithful erupt. Mm -hmm. That was pretty amazing. It was. It, um, was. it was scheduled at 3:27 today, mm -hmm. and it went off at what time? 3:25. Yep. Yeah. We were all making predictions, and Larika was 3:19. I was 3:22. Chris was 3:23, and Diane was 3:29. So, so we all lost. Yeah. But it was, it was absolutely incredible. I mean, we, we've been here at, at the Old Faithful area for a couple hours now. There's a lot of shops, there's a hotel, there's a gift center, there's a visitor center, little restaurants. We got some ice cream. And you could look at all the other geysers and pools, yeah. which was beautiful as well. Yeah, we walked around the backside and, and saw the different ones. It's, this place is just incredible. If you come, when you come to Yellowstone, give yourself like okay. half, a day, half a day here at Old Faithful alone. I mean, you're not just gonna pop up, watch it erupt and leave. There is a lot to do here and a lot to see. Make sure you give yourself enough time well, right here. We just looked at the map and we're barely through Yellowstone. So we have so much more to see. Yes, we, we're staying outside of West Yellowstone. So we come in the main entrance, hang a right, and then you kind of go through some of the springs and here's Old, Old Faithful. So we probably still have about 80% of Yellowstone we haven't done yet. And we've been going almost a whole day, so. Give yourself plenty of time. Mm -hmm. So much to see. Yep. So worth it. Absolutely. <laughs>
are at Grand Prismatic Spring. Oh my, how amazing is this place? Yeah. We're going to uh, come back and do the upper level. Yes. So we can see down in, see all the cars, but we've got some pretty cool footage. So. <clears throat> yeah, all the small springs, the Excelsior yeah, Spring and everything else. Day two in Yellowstone. Indeed. Gibbons Falls. Yes. The brisk morning. We started earlier today. Um, we need to get out, get going, to do the other side. It's supposed to warm up today, but right now it's kind of brisk. But it actually feels great. Absolutely. All right, we're going to go keep enjoying. Here at Norris Geyser Basin, yes. and we did the first loop, the smaller loop, and decided to come back here to the truck and have lunch before we go on the big loop and go look at Steamboat Geyser. We're sitting here at the bed of the truck. We got food in the cooler. <laughs> I call it charcuterie in the bag. Cheese, meat, crackers, oranges, carrots, and then we have a bag full of other stuff too, like snacks. Yeah. Yep, works out. We are walking to Steamboat Geyser. We just asked the ranger and he said it hasn't erupted in a couple weeks. And there is no schedule, we have no time frame, so chances are, chances are we won't see it erupt, but that's okay. Girls have decided that some of the names of these geysers are not appropriate for what they what they are and what they look like. No. They want to rename a lot of these geysers. Well, just switch the names around at least. Switch the names around. I don't want pork chop at all. I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't think a geyser yeah. should be called pork chop, but that's just me. <laughs> what did you want to call that one? Something like Icelandic. I don't know because it was very like icy. It was like, yeah, something. Yeah. Or, yeah. I don't know. Crystal sapphire. I don't know. But. So anybody from the park service, if you're listening, get a hold of us. Yeah. Leave us a comment down below. Yeah. And the girls are going to rename all the geysers all of in the park. The yep. He is. He's oh. answering. He is. He's answering you. Those falls were deep. 
straight down. Beautiful. But man, if I look like this too much, yep. I felt all woo. So we just left Mammoth Hot Springs, and we are now in the <clears> northern <throat> loop heading towards Tower. We're going to knock out this north loop of Yellowstone today and see what tomorrow brings. So our goal today was to see a moose, an elk, and a bear. Oh my. We saw a moose. Hey there, buddy. There you go. We, we saw, saw a, a whole lot of, lot of elk. And now that we're on the northern loop, we're looking for bear. We're on a bear hunt. The funniest, the, the funniest part about this whole thing is you'll see one car stopped on the side of the road and somebody standing outside looking in one direction. All of a sudden, 12 cars will stop and everybody jumps out with the binoculars and all looks in the same direction. It's true. At one point, Diane and I looked over and we just started laughing. Yeah. Everybody had binoculars and was standing there. More cars stopping. We have no idea what we're stopping for or what we're There's about to an see. Maybe way out there. Oh, yeah, that looks like another bison. There, but way out. Oh, yeah. That's a bison because it's so big. Yeah. yeah. Nothing right here, though. No offense to all the bison here in Yellowstone, but we saw hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of you I still like in them. South Dakota. I still they're still like amazing. Them. Yeah. They are still amazing, but I'm not going to slam the brakes for Only it. Only if they're real close to the road. Yes. The link system legs look like this. Do you want them to look like this? And we are an RV Snap Pad affiliate, so use our discount code down below for 10% off your order. Beautiful. What were you saying? It was one of the prettiest? Well, it really falls, which I like because I like it's to see the tall. water. Yeah, yes. it's tall. And then the towers behind it are very pretty. And it's off the beaten path up here on the North Loop. Yeah, it's very pretty. Yes, worth it. It's pretty. long line of traffic it's been a couple miles already heading back towards the exit no end in sight and all we keep hoping for is that better be wildlife in the road better be something cool to see if we're waiting this long because it is now miles. after 7 p.m. and we are all hungry mm. and we are on our way to dinner in West Yellowstone but at this rate it's gonna take us another hour to go the 10 miles left we are and it's been an amazing day so that's all we're hoping for is that we better be slowing down because there's something cool to see on the side of the road. I'm rooting for a bear. I'm rooting for a bear. <laughs> Diane's rooting for a bear. I want a grizzly. Chris is rooting for a bear. He says grizzly specifically. And Larica? Yeah, well, I mean, we need a bear. We need a bear. <laughs> we need a bear left on our day today. But I wouldn't, I mean, I, I'd be okay with seeing other things. I just hope it's not traffic to get out. I hope it's not a bison. What are we looking at? You don't know? Okay. All right, so we're moving again. And the hold up was a car and a mini RV on the side of the road. And four people were standing there with their cameras out. So everybody else was stopping to find out what they were looking at. And I hollered out the window and asked the lady, hey, what are we looking at? She goes, I don't know. <laughs> And we looked. 45 minute, yeah, 40 minute delay for, I don't know. But you know something? Life in Yellowstone, there we go. 